What's up? Shioki here. The best and worst legendary Gibraltar skins that exist in the game. With my personal taste. We're going to start with the worst ones towards the best ones. My main focus will be the body design and the hand design. Body represents the skin while the hands are important because Apex is a first person shooter which means you are looking at the hands 95% of the time. Let's get started. As always, there are some skins that I don't particularly like. The only four skins that are not that great are called Ride or Die, Bunker Buster, and their recolors called Code Red and Shell Shocked. These skins for me just don't have that wow factor. The body design of these skins isn't featuring anything crazy or creative. I just struggle to find anything good related to these skins. Exotic colors, cool patterns, nice structure parts, they are just lacking every single thing that I just mentioned. Just this disappointing. The first person experience isn't anything better. The hands are just a big piece of leather without any details, different parts, cool textures or anything. These four skins are just a big pass from my end and I don't recommend them to anybody. And those were all of the skins that are not that good in my opinion. The next skins are the skins with mixed opinions. The first two skins that are having mixed opinions from me are called Gibraltron and Blazing Hot. These two skins are just having such a spectacular and cool looking body design. Blazing Hot took some hot flame colors as its highlights and black color as the primary one. Cool looking sunglasses, an unusual haircut, pipes, chrome, so many different parts but they work together as a charm. No detail is stronger than the other one, they are well balanced. Same thing goes for Gibraltron. Robots are the main theme of this skin with blue, yellow and grey colors as the primary ones. This skin took inspiration from many other games and that is why it is so special. The coolest element to me is the ball head with scars which is totally different from the default model. Just brilliant. The thing that isn't that brilliant are the hands. The hands are just some simple leather gloves that are lacking colors, details, textures and everything else. Playing with these skins isn't the best experience. The next two skins with mixed opinions are Imperial Defender and Call to Arms. Imperial Defender is just having one of the most creative body designs ever. The arm shield must be the highlight of the skin which is probably my favorite one of the bunch. Legs, body, arms, head, every inch of the skin is filled with details, patterns and quirks which are amazing to look at. The hands unfortunately aren't as amazing as the body design. They're just some basic leather gloves and that's about it. Basic first person experience. The call to arms is having a totally opposite story. The first person experience is just awesome. One of the hands is filled with tattoos while the gun shield arm is partially made out of metal with a bunch of details. Just a beautiful looking gameplay. The body design on the other hand just doesn't look that great to me. Clothing, facial hair, boots etc etc it's all looking really funny and weird to me. Body design of this skin is just a big no for me. And those were all of the skins with mixed opinions. The skins that follow are the best Gibraltar skins and they are simply the best of the best. First batch of skins that are just clean are called Millennium Tusk, Dark Side and their recolors called Soft Power and Redwood Raider. Name a part of this skin that isn't cool. Yeah, you won't find one. A gazillion body details are placed on these skins and they are so balanced and beautiful looking. Some of them are having face paint to give them some identity. Rubber and hard plastic are the two elements of these skins and they were the perfect pick. Two of them are made with some exotic colors while the other two are made with some normal color combinations so you can choose yours. If you have these four skins in your collection you are a lucky person for sure. And when you think it can't get any better you are wrong. The hands are so nice to play with. They have many sections with different color variations with some shiny metal elements. You literally couldn't have asked for a better first person experience. The next two perfections of skins are named Monster Mashed and its recolor Born in Blood. If you thought Frankenstein was an eighth thing in Apex Legends, you were wrong. A bunch of metal is a part of the body designed with a lot of straps and cloth. Monster Mashed is having some toned color combination while the Born in Blood skin is having more exotic colors of the two. Born in Blood is also greeted with some black color paint for some contrast. Oh, 
And yeah, did I mention both of the skins glow in the dark? Yes, they do. Hands of the skins having amazing hand design, which just like the body are glowing. They have a lot of scars, little straps, and bunch of other cool details. If you have the money, these skins are a must. The last skin on the list is a community favorite, and it is called Bruda Bear. You literally can recognize Gibraltar in this skin, and I think that is the best part of it. The primary color of this skin is a very light shade of gray, which is giving it a clean look. Whole body is textured in a fur looking texture with a lot of red color to give it some contrast. Many straps are keeping the equipment attached to the skin's body. And the hands, ladies and gentlemen, are passing the Jilka test. They are clean, made out of a lot of parts which are stitched together, also featuring some little details. Just a wholesome looking skin. And there you go, Gibraltar mains. Gibraltar is just a ability packed legend. And it is just awesome to have such cool skins to make the experience even better. That's it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know the procedures. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.